What's good, YouTube? Slender Revolution X here. Um, so I came to you guys doing a deck profile today. If you guys don't know me, um, Elemental Hero Neos is like by far my favorite card. Um, I think he just looks like a total badass, and I think the concept with the contact fusions and everything is pretty cool. Um, and with the upcoming format change in September, I wanted to create something original that I think I could potentially be competitive with if I get started now. Um, I understand a lot of decks are autopilot, but I believe that if you play with a deck for long enough, you can make it very successful if you know the ins and the outs of the deck. Um, I played this deck a while ago, and I mean, it really wasn't successful because this was before um, Return of the Duelist, so the Miracle Contact didn't exist. Um, so I decided to go back into it and try it again. Um, and with the format change, like I said, a lot of times when you see a new format, people don't really know the meta. The meta is very up in the air. Um, you look at last format and there were a lot of crazy things topping in the early September. Um, so I, I wanted to take a stab at this, try to make it as competitive as possible. Um, I still want to tweak it a little bit. I haven't played with it too much. Um, but I wanted to get you guys a version 1.0, um, and kind of build on that, kind of do the same thing what I did with the Gladiator Beast, kind of like give the ins and outs and things like that. Um, and like I said, it is my favorite deck of all time. So, um, without further ado, we'll dive into it. We'll go main deck first. Uh, I think it goes without saying you need two Elemental Hero Neos. Uh, not really a great card by itself, but in this deck he's definitely needed. Um, he's badass looking, so... Um, three Elemental Hero Prismas, they dump Neos to the graveyard, let your contact fusions go off, things like that. Um, and they're a warrior, so they allow you to do Exceeds plays with, like, Excalibur and stuff. One Stratos, in any Elemental Hero deck, you want to have that Stratos. Recruits all your stuff. Now onto the Neos Patients. Uh, Double Air Hummingbird. Uh, Air Neos is kind of your win condition in this deck. Um, basically, he gains life, he gains tact and the difference of life points. So... With a hero lives, he becomes very, very powerful. Basically a minimum of like 6,500. Not even a minimum. Like, if you get it off early, like in an OTK, it's 6,500. Uh, Double Flame Scarab. He's my favorite Neospatian. Um, he makes, uh, he can make plays for Flare Sca Neos? Flare Neos, yeah. Uh, which gains 400, life point, 400 attack points for each uh, spell and trap on the field. So he can get pretty big as well. Um... One Neos Patient Aqua Dolphin. I've been debating whether to go two of him and one Flame Scarab or two of the Flame Scarab and one of him. Uh, like I said, I'm going to need to playtest further. But I like him because if you draw into the Neos, which is a terrible, terrible thing to do, you can use his effect to get it off and take an opponent's card out of their hand. Um, one Neos Patient Grand Mole. I think this goes without saying in any Neos Patient deck. I mean, well, he's actually good in other decks. He's like the best Neos Patient easily. One Dark Panther, copies effects, uh, it's cool to have one of them. Uh, one Neospace Pathfinder, I run the Neospace version because I don't like losing field control and losing my monster. Um, so if you don't get the OTK off or if you're just going for control style, it's good to be able to search out that Neospace. One Cross Porter, uh, a lot of people don't run this card. I think this is pretty much like the test tiger of the, you know, Elemental Hero Neos build. Um... He allows you to tribute a card on the field, special summon a Neospatian from your hand, and add one from your deck to your hand. Um, it's good fodder to get uh, Air Hummingbird to your hand or in the graveyard to use Miracle Contact with. Um, it's good if your opponent has any monster that you want to get rid of, any Exceed, any Secret, things like that. If you have the Grand Mole in hand, you can tribute this, get the Grand Mole, and then search a card. Um, so it's a pretty cool card, and it's searchable where I wrote up. So I don't mind having him in there. Uh, on to Magic's. Or spells, I should say. The main focus of the deck, the Triple Miracle Contact. Uh, I think this card being brought into the game really, really gave this deck a push. I mean, beforehand you had a lot of trouble making those uh, contact fusions. But with this, it's essentially a Miracle Fusion for this deck. Um, and it's awesome. It can go from your uh, hand, deck, or graveyard. I mean, hand, field, or graveyard. So it gives you a lot of options. Um, and we'll get into some other stuff of that later. This is more of a deck profile kind of deal. Um, two Miracle Fusions. You do run heroes, and I believe that the ability to have more powerful cards in the deck is good. I wouldn't go without this card in any hero deck. 
Um, it's basically what last format made here so good. So have that. Uh, another main focus on this deck is two hero lives. Pay off your life points, special summon a level four hero monster. Um, do this, special summon Prisma, Ditch, Neos, or Hummingbird, and go into Air Neos with some badass attack. Two Neo Space. Like I said, I do run the Neo Space version. Uh, gives a boost. I think it's a, a little fun thing that you can do is make stra uh, Prisma Neos, and you're allowed to, and it becomes a 2300 attacker. You can get over a lot of stuff with that. Um, two Forbidden Lance. A lot of people don't run this, but um, in an OTK deck, I feel like it's good to be able to, you know, not get raped by trap cards and things like that. And when Air Neos gets big. This card barely affects its attack, so I think it's okay to use, and I really like it when keep to keep field presence. Uh, another really great card in this deck is Convert Contact. Uh, discard a Neo Spatian from your hand uh, and one from your deck to the graveyard, then draw two cards. This gets Air Hummingbird to the graveyard really quick. I've been debating on running three or not, um, but I'm sticking with two for right now. Like I said, this is version 1.0, so we can get into different things. Two Mystical Space Typhoons veined. It's an OTK deck. You want to get rid of the back row because um, you don't want to get hurt by those things. Two Pot of Duality. I found that opening, you can open some pretty terrible hands in this deck. Uh, pot of Duality lets you dig for those Miracle Contacts, those Convert Contacts things, allowing you to you know progress in the game. And I think it sets up future plays very well. Uh, now into the one ups. One Emergency Call. I mean, it's self-explanatory. It's basically, it lets you search out any hero, so if you open up bad hands, you can still search Stratos, Prisma, anything like that. One Contact Out, I believe Contact Out is a really good card. It allows you to, you know, get over that uh, 8,000 life point margin. Even if you only have the Air Neos on the field and you attack, then you can convert Contact and go into Neos and Air Hummingbird and push over for that final damage. Um, it also allows you to escape trap cards and things like that, you know, when people uh, flip up mirror fours, flip up things like that, you can contact out and get into Neos and, um, well, not even mirror fours, like more like Compulse, and then you can get out of it. Um, also, if you use a Prisma, ditch a, uh, Elemental Hero Neos and whatever, and then contact with the Prisma, this lets you get the uh, Neos out, which is cool. So you just kind of bring out big monsters. Uh, one, Oversoul. It's a monster reborn for a Neos, and half the time Neos is in your graveyard anyway. One monster reborn, it's a staple. One Heavy Storm, it's a staple. One Dark Hole, it's a staple. Uh, why not have these cards if they're given to you? And last but not least, one Rhoda. Just like Elemental Hero, or E-Call, uh, you can open up bad hands, but this allows you to make decent plays. Now one of my trap cards, I run three which is awesome. One Solemn Warning, one Solemn Judgment, and Torrential Tribute. Uh, going to some explanation, the life point difference is what you want in this deck, and Solemn Warning is just a generally good card. can stop gores, things like that. Um, and when you're running in with Neos, Air Neos, you don't want to get give them a 6500 attack point token. Uh, Solemn Judgment, same thing. It negates a lot of stuff uh, and allows for that bigger life point difference. And then I want to run, run one Torrential, um, it basically is mass field removal, which I like, and it's, I mean, I've been debating on running some different things in this deck. I don't run any hand traps, so I was thinking about running mind drain, so you didn't have to worry about those effect failures, maxis, and gorzas, things like that. Um, but like I said, this is version 1.0, guys, so, I mean, things can change, so that's my main deck lineup. Let's go into the extra deck. Uh, my exceeds monsters, ones and mains. You have quite a few level threes in this deck, so if you get the Zen mains off, it's still a good play. One Mace Stroke, I think it's arguably the best generic rank 4 there is out there. Uh, and one Excalibur, uh, he's a badass and he allows for Miracle Fusion plays and OTKs in himself. Um, now on to the Omni Heroes. Gaia, who we got? Absolute Zero, Tornado, and Shining. Um, I don't have Super Poly mained or sided. Um, I've been toying around with it, and it clogs a lot. The one plus that it does bring, though, is if Neos is in your hand, it's easy fodder to get out of your hand. 
Um, so I may see one splash one or two in my deck sometime in the future. Um, but for now, I think these are the heroes that I want to stick with. I have a lot of fusions in here based on the Neos um, that I really don't want to sacrifice to put in another one of these just for a super poly target. Um, so those are mine for now. Uh, on to the Neos fusions. I've got one Flare Scarab, one Flare Neos, I mean. Uh, he's good. He gets the 400 boost for each spell or trap on the field. Um, one Aqua Neos. Uh, discard Fodder lets you shoot a card out of your opponent's hand. Uh, what is this? Dark Neos? Um, I like this card a lot, especially with like Spirit Reapers and stuff creeping around and big guys and things like that. Um, uh, so he basically negates the effect of a monster as long as this card is face up on the field. Uh, so you can stop those, uh, Spear Reapers, stop those big eyes from stealing your monsters. Things like that. Uh, da -da -da -da, moving right along. Uh, Grand Neos, uh, he's an amazing card, bounces a monster on the field. So it allows for some big pushes into life points. The heart and soul of the deck is Air Neos. I only run one. Um, I think if you get it off, you should win the game, hands down. Uh, this card's amazing. And now onto like the double Neos fusions that I use. I run one uh, Storm Neos. It's an instant heavy storm, and then when he's removed from the field, bounces everything back to the deck. Granted, he requires two Neos Spations, the Air Hummingbird and the Aqua Dolphin. But the fact that he's a heavy storm, I think it allows for big plays as well. Um, so there's that. And then last but not least, uh, my Divine Neos. I know that the original running in this de in this kind of deck with him was for future fusion to dump things in the graveyard, but I think with Miracle Contact, it, it more is a pot of avarice than anything now, um, and that's why I run it. A lot of times I can see myself running out of the Neos targets for the Prismas, and this allows to recover that and gain a monster on the field, and he has the cool effect of not bouncing back uh, at the end phase, so I mean, he just kind of stays on the field. Uh, so with him, Miracle Contact, Miracle Fusion, he makes for big pushes. Um, and I like it. And I mean, his other effect, I mean, kind of is worthless. Not not saying it's worthless, but he, when you can remove an E-Hero, D-Hero, all that good stuff, Neospatian, things like that, for him to gain the effect and 500 attack. Uh, the only thing that I've seen in my deck that kind of makes that okay is Dark Panther. So you can steal your opponent's effects, um, which I think is awesome. And I mean, I guess if like another Neos is kind of in the graveyard, like if that's in the graveyard and you get him out, uh, he can get real big as well. Um, but right now I only have 14 cards in the extra deck. I'm kind of, you know, boggling my mind for what else. I, I, I'm at war with myself to figure out that final card. Part of me wants to put in a uh, Blade Armor Ninja just to push over monsters and get for more damage. Um, because a lot of times I can see myself with... Uh, Excalibur and an Air Neos on the field, but if they have two or more monsters, the the Excalibur's attack is kind of null and void. But if it was a Blade Armor Ninja, I could detach and push over each one and then go in directly. Um, but I don't know. I, like I said, I'm boggling my mind with that. I'm boggling my mind for another Shining in there. Um, I might put the Magma Neos in there because he's a really good card. Uh, and since I'm running the two Flare Scarabs, I think it's a very viable card. But um, other than that, I mean, it's kind of iffy. I mean, there's a couple rank fours in there that I could use. Things like that. I could put in, you know, like the hero, the blaze hero, which, like, elemental hero, whatever the fire one is of the Omni heroes. Uh, but I haven't decided yet, guys, but that's it for the extra deck. Let's go into the side. My side deck's kind of generic. I haven't played with it too much. Um... But we'll go into it regardless. Uh, one Puppet Plant, good for the Prophecy matchup. Double Electric Virus, awesome for the Dragon matchup. One Cyber Dragon, good for any Rogue Machine matchup. You see a lot of gadgets running around nowadays, so I like to be able to be prepared for that. Double Kaiku. Kaiku is like the ultimate anti-meta card. He is what Thunder King was like two formats ago, or last format too. Um, he is the ultimate anti-meta card. Eh, get out of here. Double Dimensional Fusion. Dimensional Fissure. Um, I don't really like this card. I'm thinking about changing it out, but it is an anti-meta card. 
and I would change out, you know, like the Miracle Fusions for this. Um, Miracle Contact, I think, is still very live with this, even if because it allows you to do it from the hand. I really don't think this is a great side deck choice, but like I said, this is generic. I haven't really played with it this with it this with it with this deck. So um, you'll probably see this change out in version 2.0. Uh, Bubble Crash. It's an amazing card for for prophecies. They start gaining advantage, and then you flip this, and they have to get rid of more than half the advantage, things like that. A lot of times, you can see them end the hand with like twelve cards, and the the yeah at the end of the turn with like twelve cards in their hand. I think this is cool for against them. Uh, against the Evil Swarm matchup, which is a big issue for this deck because it brings out big monsters, and the Hufian is such a big problem for this deck. I run Double Shadow Imprisoning Mirror. Um, everything in that deck is dark, so this is a good card for that. And last but not least, I run Double Mind Drain. I don't run any hand traps because I'm trying to OTK, and I'd rather not have to worry about drawing into like Double Max CU when having nothing in my hand to use with it. Um... So this is my answer for that. Like I said, I was thinking about maining this because of that. And, you know, it stops the gores and things like that. But for right now, I'm keeping it in the side. Like I said, I haven't toyed with the side practically at all with this deck. I just threw good cards together as of right now for the meta and kind of going from there. So you guys can see, we'll see other things after this, you know, in the version 2.0 that I plan on making down the road after, you know, a little more playtesting. But, like I said, guys, I'm trying to be competitive with this deck. Uh, I really don't know how well that's going to work out. I, there's a lot of doubters out there, but I think with the ability to have essentially five Miracle Fusions in this deck, um, it's kind of awesome, and I think that's what gave Heroes, Heroes its edge originally. Um, and they were, they've were they always been consistent and were good for so long that I kind of want to put the spin on the Neo deck, seeing as he's my favorite you know card, and it's cool to be able to do stuff like that. It's cool to be able to, you know have originality in this game. If you guys haven't watched my other videos, originality is what I'm all about. Um, but please, if you guys have any suggestions and stuff, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, remember to thumbs up this video and subscribe to join the revolution today. Um, this is Slender Revolution X, guys, signing out. Till next time. Thanks a lot.